what companies really have to focus on is that what's going on between the U.S. and China is not just another downturn in relations. We've had many downturns and upturns in the last several decades. This is a paradigm shift. You know, business used to be the ballast uh, between China and the U.S. because China got technology, they got know-how, they got capital. Um, um, American companies made a lot of money in China. Uh, American consumers got inexpensive goods. There was a, uh, a somewhat of a balance there. There was winners and losers, but there was more of a balance. Um, that is now gone. Um, business is now the friction. Business is the competition because both countries are going for all of the technologies of the future. And um, it's, a, it's a going to be a very tough contest and we have two very different systems that work in very different ways. And in some ways the Chinese system now has some great advantages because if you have companies that don't have to make money, if you've got companies that have a lot of subsidies, if you have companies that have uh, regulators um, opening up the market for them and blocking foreign companies in the market. Um, China can have some great advantages and remember China's got incredible talent and one thing that is different now is the difference between state directed uh, funding of technology and, and uh, just state funding. You know, now they are also funding their entrepreneurs, they're funding their venture capitalists um, so uh, there's, a, there's a lot of talent out there. Don't, 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 don't think China can't innovate because we trained them. They went to MIT, the, uh, Carnegie Mellon, Cal Polytech. They work for Google, Siemens, HP, whatever. These are very talented people and they now have an opportunity in their own market and they've got a, the government behind them. So how does the U.S. deal with this? Uh, well, first off, the, you have to credit this administration for pushing back. We needed to push back. Unfortunately, I think some of that pushback has been, uh, the, the methods have been ill-advised. Number one, pulling out of TPP was crazy. It, it, the worst, it's the dumbest thing we've done since invading Iraq. Um, we've discredited ourselves with all those countries in the region after negotiating with them for many years. And remember, China wasn't in it. Reformers in China were for TPP because it would have forced China to reform in order to compete. So what do we do now that we're this deep into this so-called trade war? We need to do three things. Uh, we, need to, we, we need to protect ourselves. Um, we need to block Chinese investment in um, strategic industries, strategic technologies, and also um, things that are challenging to our economic security. Um, and that means looking at where the money comes from, if the state's involved, if subsidies are involved. I'm not saying block all Chinese investment. Block Chinese investment that comes from, a, from an, un, an unfair direction, an unfair source, and um, a, a, government, a government mandate and a government direction. Then we also need to invest in ourselves. We need, to, we need to fix our education system going right down to first grade. We need to invest in science and technology. We need to invest in mathematics. Um, we, ne we need our, our universities to up their game. Um, foreigners who get a PhD in the hard, scientists, hard sciences, we should staple a green card uh, to their diplomas. We need the talent of the world to come here. We don't want to be scaring them away because we're paranoid and we're closing our borders. That is so self-defeating, it's, um, uh, it, it's, almost, it's, almost, it's almost laughable. Um, and, and, and finally, we need to work with our allies. Um, as Hank Paulson says, you can't decouple if you're not a couple. There's a lot of countries involved in the race with China, and there's a lot of countries who, have, who are part of uh, existing global systems, who are free market democracies of one, of one way, shape, or form or another, who are, who are facing the same challenge from China because of China's system and its way of doing things, and also the size and power of China. We need to we need to we need to work with our allies, um, and and if we don't do that, then uh, this this is this is not going to go well. So that's I'm a civilian. I'm not a government official, but those are my my ideas on on uh, way we can move things forward. <laughs>